So what is architecture? So what is architecture? Mm, on a basic point of view, huh? if you are looking for, um, let's say, kind of a laconic uh, definition of uh, what is architecture, um, Technically, architecture uh, is probably um, the ambition, shared or not, um, to divide or decompose the world into small pieces, literally, and um, also to define those pieces um, in terms of their relational structure, mm -hmm. in a way to inhabit them. So, yeah, it's maybe like a close. Um, sentence, but uh, I think yeah, in a general way, I think you, it's possible to look at the, the practice like, a bit like this. And um, yeah, so uh, it's also uh, yeah. mainly a um, question of a game. Huh? And um, so game of a continuous uh, updated definition of the world as an uh, anthropogenic or human environment. Huh? So um, at the same time, it's a personal or it could be also a civilizational affair. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what can architecture do? Um, what can architecture do? Actually, you can do whatever you want to do. But if there is a hidden project behind a project, a hidden, if there is an hidden, um, I would say that, not a hidden project, but a hidden agenda, um, behind every project. Um, I think architect architecture is looking or is uh, working for um, uh, a certain idea of uh, intensity. intensity yeah. So yeah, architecture has a mean to produce an intensity. Mm -hmm. And um, firstly, because uh, as a proposal, a project contains always a promise and uh, it's always a promise of an intensity, yeah? depending on your, um, we say that, uh, hobby horse, huh? cheval de bataille. And, uh, mm -hmm. So an intensity of uh, comfort, of beauty, of power, of uh, comfort, of uh, control or uh, efficiency. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I like the idea of uh, yeah, producing a kind of, and working for a kind of uh, intensity. And also, as I said before, because um, if we consider architecture um, the way to divide the world uh, into small pieces is also um, uh, an act of, of transformation and so it's always possible to increase or impoverish an existing uh, condition and if you have a strong alteration of an existing condition you can also um, produce a new one uh, by uh, alteration uh, and existing condition. So, um, yeah, I think it's mainly a question of uh, the intensity, uh, search of a kind of intensity. And how important are the people or the users in your projects? Um, of course, they are for family. It's, um, as I said, it's an um, anthropogenic affair, so uh, it's the, the front ground of the, of the story. But um, uh, in a way, um, because you can also, um, yeah, it's always also the, this confrontation of uh, of an abstraction and the reality. So the both are the human uh, condition. So um, it's always here, but uh, um, in, in a way to try to define what is architecture. So as an abstraction, um, yeah, I like to see it uh, directly on it, uh, like a bit uh, this kind of autonomy. Mm How -hmm. it's possible to look at it mm -hmm. as a, as a project. Mm -hmm. So, um, what is your architectural position, or what is your project? Um, the position, um, so architecture. Uh, I believe that the architecture. Uh, is also uh, yeah, a shared knowledge, yeah? mm -hmm. uh, but um, the, the position. Um, yeah, maybe I, I try to fit permanently the idea of learning something. So um, 
uh, it's maybe a kind of a skeptical position in the first sense of the word and uh, so yeah try to consider things um, without a preconceived um, coherence or let's say an academic or dogmatic uh, truth huh? mm -hmm. so um, yeah I think it's kind of a little bit let go uh, skeptical position to be uh, um, to have um, to try to have always a kind of uh, accurate uh, answer of a question and um, are there architects or theorists or maybe teachers that have been important for you in the past or even now? Uh, as I said, uh, for me, architecture is knowledge. Huh? So, um, um, quite, uh, quite everything is interesting to uh, observe or to uh, looking at or to learn or on this whole, even the, the, the bad or the, or the good. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I like to, yeah, to consider this like a big sphere of uh, knowledge. And um, what is your design method? The design method... Um, you talked about the parts before. Is it about rearranging the parts? Yeah. Um, mm, yeah for me, yeah, the, the project is a method. Huh? Uh, also because I believe on the case by case, uh, um, but um, yeah, sometimes I, I refer a kind of a trinity, huh? in the, like, a, like a, is it a, is it a um, clear method uh, or recipe of the, of uh, doing architecture, and yeah, sometimes uh, I like, believe like this kind of trinity of observe, define, and let go. So um, this, yeah, so this is like three projects in one. Huh, to like, let's say a method, but always like definition of case by case by case. And um, so, um, yeah. Le Could you maybe make an example about the let go? The let go. Um, <laughs> um, you know, it's a little bit also like a kind of um, investigation. And like a criminal investigation you know, to find the guilty part uh, as the project. Mm -hmm. You don't know uh, uh, which project is it at the beginning, so you need to find, you have the clue uh, mm -hmm. to uh, try to resolve the kind of investigation. And um, so, yeah, um, so it's, uh, I like to um, use uh, short ideas. Huh? Uh, also uh, for um, closed uh, questioning, like yes, no, perhaps, like um, um, def defining a uh, small paradigm. Mm -hmm. And so at this time, you can, as, uh, at the moment when you find a kind of little paradigm, an idea of a, or a project, um, the let go part of the, uh, of the, you know, the other side of the definition, the let go part, um, it's also to have a kind of deal with a kind of indifference with um, things, not to control everything. So uh, anticipate a kind of let go. Also because a project uh, for an architect is finished when you finish the project, when you deliver the key, but it starts uh, when uh, we'll used by uh, someone else. So this part of let go. So. I think it's uh, okay. the, the operation of the of uh, thinking about the project. Mm -hmm. So how uh, people uh, could be tolerated in, in a project in a way where they can also make another one. Mm -hmm. 